up, fellas? Gang, gang. UC 288, right around the corner. Let's go. Funkin' go. This is my uh just get a little homage to the New York Knicks. You know, second round of the playoffs doesn't happen all the time, so it's a celebration. Today's a big day. Might as well wear it. A celebration for everything New York, baby. That's what it's all about. Blew up and I'm in the city still. I still Let's go. Who wants to see Al Joe beat the shit out of Henry Soto? Let's go. This is awesome. Well deserved for Al Joe, guy that's uh, done so much for Long Island, put Long Island on the map, and continues to represent us. Yeah, for his legacy, this is like a huge fight, you know. And when he beats Henry, he'll be a gold medalist and a champ champ. Well, he, he takes all that and puts it in his pocket, you know? Aljo worked so hard for this fight. He's been training all his career, smart and hard. I'm very confident he's going to finish Henry Cejudo and then show the world how great champion he is. This turnout is unbelievable, man. It's definitely the biggest turnout we had so far, so I'm blown away, to be honest with you. Just a little couple of days' notice, and uh, really good. Very inspiring. It means a lot, I think, to Aljo, too. I think it's great motivation. He knows people are behind him. I, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. You guys want to take some photos? Henry's been off for a little under three years, and he's coming back kind of into the same situation that John Jones came into just a few weeks ago. What's up, Henry, UFC and Better? What's up, dude? Yeah, hey, man. And you. Hey. You got to tell, tell the camera that. And you, baby. And you, once again. It's going to be interesting to see how Henry does compared to GSP, who took time off fought for a title. John Jones, who took time off, fought for a title. If he wins this, like him, John Jones, and GSP, they're on their own Mount Olympus. It's 2023, the return of the GOAT. Three years off, yet three times better. May 6th, the return of the greatest combat athlete of all time. Last practice, best practice, let's go. Long before this fight was ever scheduled with Aljo, he was in here with Figueredo. He was in here with Wei Li. He was in here with John Jones. So Henry's retirement and layoff is not what you would expect a retirement and layoff to be. Nobody knows what's coming. I know. Good luck, Aljo, man. Woo! You better kill me! You know, I knew Henry before I actually came out here. And seeing him go through the transformation from uh, you know, being a dad, being a husband, and now being a fighter again has been something special to see. So three weeks ago was my last fight uh, here in Miami. Today we had a circuit. Today we one week out of my next fight, and I'm feeling great. And I'm so excited to, to get another fight. You know, it's going to be three fights in like five months, less than five months, uh, and I'm looking forward to earn that the next title shot. You suck. Cannot wait one more week. Gilbert Burns against Bilal Muhammad will be a good one. Let's go, guys. Let's get a round shadow boxing. Let's go. Let's go. I think both athletes, man, are very into the sport. You know, Belal literally trains 365 days a year, you know, and I, Gilbert Burns, I know he's also a workhorse. 
Juliana, huge fight, trilogy fight. She got the fight she wanted. Being with her, seeing her motivation, her momentum. We're a small gym. We're all with the same goal, same mindset. I'm excited for Bilal. I know how hard he's been working, and he's consistent in the gym. You know, whether he has a fight or whether he doesn't have a fight, he's here every single day putting in the time and putting in the work. So I know that whatever happens, Bilal's going to get his hand raised, and I'm going to be there to support him all the way. Going out there, winning a fight on three weeks' notice right off of Ramadan, I think that's where my story is written. That's what's meant for me to be. I've been working 10 years for this. One moment right here to be able to step up and take my shot for the title. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, guys. So right now we're here at Optimize. Optimize is a facility that we like to use whenever we're uh, getting ready to recover. They got infrared saunas, jacuzzis, hot tubs. Like they got it all. We focus on not just the physical benefits of recovery tools, but also the mental benefits. We're training to fully submerge ourselves and really accept the discomfort of the moment, just as you have to accept the discomfort of different moments in the fight. A lot of our training has to do with letting go and really getting out of your own way. <laughs> I've always tried to find the edge in everything that I do. Ah. Aljo, I'm a different level, dude. I'm just better than him in every area that you can think of. I'm too smart, man. I'm too talented. I'm too mentally strong. Like, you know, if I, if I have to take it to where I have to take it to win, then I'm, I'm going to do that. The girls. What about the boy? The boy. <laughs> I'm about to get in this ice tub right here. Uh, this is a dream pod ice tub is what it is. I, if you hook it up, it actually makes its own ice, but I don't have a house in there built yet, so I'm just filling it up with bags of ice, old school style, you know? This stuff's great for recovery. Well, this thing's leaking, right? Where from? Oh no shit. Yeah, we need some we need some socks. Don't worry, I know some engineering. I mean that's all it took right there. Oh shit. <laughs> I think you're good. Yeah, I think we're good. It's gonna be cold even without the ice. Oh yeah, it's cold. So we're exactly a week out from the fight. It's been a long, hard training camp. Man, everything in training went really good. I'm excited. I'm I'm healthy. I'm in great shape. And in my opinion, this is the best fight on the card. You're looking at two young and up-and-comers that aren't going nowhere. So whoever wins this, this is huge for the future of the division. You know, he's talked a lot of crap about me. He makes fun of me for being a farmer when it's like, to me, that's a compliment. <laughs> he calling me Farmer Mitchell. Buddy, that's a compliment. I work, I, I drip blood, sweat, and tears to have this farm. This is my way of life. But I don't care, man, it is what it is. He'll take his skinny jeans and purse. I'll take my tractors and cows. I don't like him much as a person. I do think he's a great fighter. I think he's going to be hard to beat, and I think I'm the guy to beat him. I'm ready to go in there and put on a great show for y'all.